Welcome back, True Believers. This is Rakdar, and today I'm playing some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and right now, I'm figuring out puzzles with these- Oh, haha! -ha. Check it out. Oh, okay. I did it right, but... Look at this trickery. Oh no! I feel like this is the way to do it, but... Oh, it is! That is totally the way to do it, it just didn't work the first time. That works fine for... That works just fine for me. Oh, and now, the trickery and treachery with that upgrade block will finally be undone, because I'm sure now there's something that I'll be able to do with it that I was not able to do before. What is this? What is this? Oh, this, I guess, is just where the water drained down. And a cleverly hidden item box. Execute superbly to shrink foes. Okay. And yeah, I assume that this now does nothing, because... What's done is done, it was attached to the thing, it is nothing. So anyways... Oh, and they now they can walk across the lily pads. Off course, and now I can do a little jumping magic. Koops may be stupid and trying to kill himself right now, but... I don't need to go back up there, so here we go! Into this elevator that takes 101 Dalmatians to open. Alright, 101. Dude, can I just do it without putting the rock there? Nope. I mean, you probably can, but it would probably take some skillful organizing. Okay, here we go. What is happening now? Oh, this is an elevator. I'll never get that puny orb back. No! It's all downhill from here. They're stuck here. Oh, no. The puny orb thing came with me. I was gonna be like, now the dudes aren't gonna be able to go with me. Which I was gonna be, I was gonna say that'll probably be no problem because I'm probably well on my way to fighting a boss right now. But you never know. Dude, I should probably also think about bringing Gale with me. Gale Force. Uh, I, I wanna always wanna call her Gale Storm because that's the name of like a character in the Lego universe, I think. But no, Gale Storm. That is not, yeah, that is the name of like a female, like, adventure weather person in the Lego Yeah, Why the fuck would I know that? Okay, just don't worry about why I know characters from the Lego universe. And now, the leader, or this Extical guy, saw me coming, and he's probably like, Oh, you'll never make it down here, and it looks like, yep, it's another 101 elevator. I'm wondering, I'm trying to, like, find star pieces tucked away behind things, like in the past, but here we go. Everyone, get on the thing, and come to the basement with me. See, that guy will never know how to get the crystal star because he doesn't have poonies with him. <gasps> yes! Except, for, uh, dude, now he's gonna... He tricked me into getting it out for him, and now he's gonna battle me. I'm certain of this. I'm actually not certain of this, but that's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen right now. What did he just say? What's going on here? But uh, man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you need a crystal star, Lord Crump. Boom! Falls right in my lap. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So, for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Death is your gift. Oh, just a little something we'll call the Remote Time Bomb Detonator. What? What does that do? Is that a boss? That doesn't sound like a boss at all. Screw little pews and rubbles. That was fun. Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree, and with that, pow, I'm gone. Oh, no! And look at that. He's got control of the tubes in here. Did he just say, eek, we have to get the heck out of here? Well, what happens if we go through the pipe that he went through? I mean, that'll surely take me out, right? Oh, it doesn't... It doesn't bring the dudes with me. Why doesn't it bring the dudes with me? They could go through pipes before. Why can they suddenly not go through pipes? Alright, well... I need... There is no time... to be worrying about anything but defeating dudes... in... record time. The problem is I should not have wasted power smash on that. There was a better strategy I could have used for this fight, but it's too late now. I've ruined it. So now we've got to... Oh, oh, man, I'm so bad with the timing on that freaking move. All right, here we go. Normal hammer smash. Yeah, whatever. Actually, I was... 
my strategies would have involved me using a power move one way or the other. So it really doesn't matter. I just gotta keep moving. Oh, get the door! Get the door! And the dudes didn't come with me. I wonder if that's on purpose or... Like, why did the dudes not come with me? Like, I feel like they were easily able to get through the thing before and now... Oh, okay, that's where it put me. Okay. I guess I could save right now in case I mess this up, but I'm not gonna mess this up. Alright, so am I trying to get out of here or am I trying to, like, defuse the bomb? I seem... It seems to me that my main priority right now would be, like, to defuse the bomb that's about to blow up the trees of all these little things that I saved. But the things didn't come with me. In fact, I think I'm doing the wrong thing right now. I'm sure what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna talk through this whole part and then fail. And then what's gonna happen is I'm going to have to re-record this because I failed all because- Oh, you know why they didn't come with me is because I left the puny orb. Well, great. I'm fucked now, aren't I? Yeah, I'm totally fucked. Whatever. I shouldn't- I- I left the puny orb. I was in too much of a rush. And now I'm gonna go back here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You won't be going any further this way. Oh, I just gotta fight the dude. Move it, old geezer. What? You just call me an old geezer? Why would you get off talking like that? You got no respect, press. Don't think my age is- Dude, the timer is going down right while this guy is talking. Whoa, what's your problem, Grandpa? And you're tickling your brain or what? Oh, what do they call out? You can't take another step. Oh. Alright, let's just fight this guy. My timer is going down as this conversation is going on. Battle. Battle. We aren't going to let you leave, you big bully. You hand over that crystal star and get out of this tree. Bah, you guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, I guess I'd better shut off this timer. Shut off the timer in time to kick our a kick his ass. Damn it, I said that backwards. Wait, wait for it. What is that? Dude, is he gonna battle us or what? Okay, he is gonna battle us. In a giant spaceship, apparently. The Magnus von Grapple. Oh no. And I didn't heal, but I don't think I need to. Alright. Bring it on, Magnus Von Grapple. I think we got the shit in the bag, all right. Are you crying yet? Yeah, sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus Von Grapple has that effect on people. Total weeping tear. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power this body has. Yikes, that is strong. But I can't shake the feeling there's something just not right about him. Be alert, okay? We can't let ourselves get careless. All right, um... I'm wondering if... Okay, so there's only one thing I can attack, and it's the body. Um, let's just try power bouncing and see what happens. I assume... Oh, I fucked up that power bounce immensely. Whatever. It's okay. I... We'll see what happens. All right, here comes an attack. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Von Punish! Oh... Oh, he tricked me! I thought he was gonna step on the other dude. That only did two damage, though. That wasn't so bad. Alright, um... I feel like if I get a... It's so hard to time because I'm going up behind the curtain. And so, I, it's like fucking up my sense of timing against this guy. Alright. You know what's nice is... Oh! Damn it. At least, uh... At least he chose my other dude who has one extra defense. Alright, dude, I'm gonna keep on trying the power bounce. If I can just... Damn it! The timing! He's so tall. I'm just, like, wasting my MP with power bouncing right now. Alright, fuck it. Oh, it ain't over. This is awesome. Check out what else this can do. You're gonna love it. This might not work out too well for you. Oh... Oh, no! Um... Damn. I wish I had multi-bounce right now. Uh, we're going to... Tactics, swap partner, bring out Flurry, and Gale Force everything. Now that I know how to use Gale Force... Yeah, it's like, Gale Force is a weird move to master. And, yep, I blew away his hands. Now you have no hands! He'll probably respawn hands or something. Oh, the... Oh, I thought the stage was about to, uh, crumble. Alright, cool. Gale Force is probably better to have than my other dude anyway. Um, man, I keep on wasting the MP on these power bounces, but I feel like if I can just get the timing down, it is so, the timing is legitimately, you probably don't believe me, you're probably like, 
Ragdar, you're so dumb. But the timing is like legitimately so weird with the uh, the way that the stage is right now. Then he gets new fists. Good thing I left Gale What's her face out. But check this out, dude. We got the strats here. On my turn, I'm gonna use Sweet Treat. And then check it out. Check out my sweet, sweet treat strats. I realize that... Oh, the aim means nothing on sweet treat. Oh, dude, there's like more poison ones this time. Here we go. Look, check this out. I can get almost all of them. As long as I'm not... I hit more poison ones. I swear, when I was doing this not on camera, that worked out so well. It actually didn't work out so badly there, but... And now she will be able to use... Gale Force! All right, press and release. Okay. Oh, damn it. I fucked it up. I fucked up the first one. Dude. Ugh. I am so at, at some point. Oh, I didn't get the other one. Looks like I'm going to get hit, and that does a lot of damage. So it is, like, legitimately a good idea to try and fist this guy. All right. I'm just going to use another sweet tree, because why the fuck not? And hopefully there's less poison things this time. Oh. There, I hit a poison thing. Damn it. All right, there we go. We're back. We're back. We're back. Oh! Okay, I think maybe there's more poison things when I try and use this during boss fights. Because that legitimately seems to be the case, but... Still, it's still working better. <laughs> working out better just rapid fire. And we'll use Gale Force again. I'm going to use it right this time. All right, Gale Force. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Alright, I'm still getting better at it, and I didn't blow away the hand! Fuck, dude. He is, like, cheating. Cheating. This is so dumb. There we go. I got rid of all those rocks. I saw those dudes with the rocks. I got rid of their bitch asses. No more sweet treats for me. If I want to get sweet treats, I gotta earn up... Alright, I guess I want to get rid of this fist, because the fist does the legit damage. Okay, cool. So the fist doesn't take a lot of hits. That's good. But hopefully if I can, like, master Gale Force... Gale Force is, like, the weirdest ability, I swear, so far in this game. Alright, and if I can get the dodge right on this shit, but I can't. Alright. Um... I'm saving up for a Gale Force right now. So I'm just gonna have to earn audience appeal the old-fashioned way. And then, see, by getting some nices and whatever, and then maybe I can get some more sweet treats. But maybe he's dead. He made a different sound. Gurk! Not good. Can't last. Oh, dude, he's he's on his way out right now. And he's getting his old fist, fist to cuff bumpers ready. Hmm. Dude, see, I don't... I feel like I can gale force the fist right now. All right, let's try to... This is a move. It's like... The problem is, like, it seems to be somewhat about the sound. Oh, oh, I was so close to getting it. Oh, and I missed one. I guess I'll have to... That's why I wanted to, um, let her go first. Was so I could see if I was going to miss one or not. And then I could pull the move with Mario. I might have to use a healing item here if I can't get... If I can't get my star power up enough quickly. Yeah, alright. Let's... Dude, Thunder Rage would probably do so much damage to this guy right now. I almost want to use it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> fuck, fuck healing items. Oh, she's using it. Okay, it did five. And then we'll have Mario use... Um, do I... Please don't... I did not not trash all my healing items, did I? Why the hell would I ever do that? Dude, we're going to have to... Use some attack tactics here. We need to appeal to the audience. That appealing did a lot. Not quite enough. Oh, you know what? I should have... I should have... Used a, um... Oh, man. This is getting pretty rough. I don't want to use that Ultra Shroom. I don't want to use it. Oh, shit. Well, that was... That was not good. Alright, well, so what we're gonna do... What we're gonna do? Gonna use honey syrup. Um, does it matter who I use honey syrup on? It just restores FP, and FP is shared, right? I was like, she uses my FP. 
All right. And now, Gale Force. Oh man, okay. The hardest move ever. Oh. Yes, but I got lucky. So who cares? Even though I suck at that move, I got lucky. And so here's what we're gonna do now. Man, I am, I'm taking the risky approach here. I'm going to appeal with her. <laughs> yep, okay. And now, now, yeah, yeah, this is working. I don't want to use items that are that good. Here we go. And hopefully I can pick up some sweet health and FP here. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. There's like so many fewer, oh, poison mushrooms here. Oh, oh, there we go. We're back, we're back. Oh yeah. See there, see here we go. This is what I was talking about earlier where you just kind of like, don't even worry about carrying where your fucking thing is pointed or whatever. He gets his fist back. I have two more Gale Forces. Uh, damn it, I missed it. Whatever. This fight is not turning out for the best. This battle is not working out for the best. All right, here we go. Hopefully, I should like tattle to see how much health enemies have. You know, she doesn't do as much damage as Coops, but she has Gale Force, so it's like, I feel like that makes her, by proxy, more useful in the long run. I'm doing such small amounts of damage at a time. This has got to be the end. Oh, that's the end. Okay. And I saved that mushroom. Sweet, sweet tactics. You can argue all you want and be like, Raktar, you pretty much failed just now. But I had sweet, sweet tactics, whether you want to admit it or not. Whatever. The battle is over. And the X-Knots are leaving... And stay out! And the X-Knots are leaving my tree of justice. All right. A rousing success, Mario. How delightful! They're gone. This place can go back to being... Oh, this place can go back to being as peaceful as I remember. All right, then, Martio. You can have the Emerald Star, the Crystal Star that resided in this tree. Hell yeah, I can. If you said I couldn't, I would have murdered you. All right, you got Crystal Star, and you learned the special move, Clock Out. Which, I guess that means I don't have to go to work when the move is over or some shit like that. All right, and I finished another chapter of Super Paper Mario and the Stars of Doors, which means... Let's see here, after pump... I need, like, uh, a very... All right. And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second Crystal Star. With the x knots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The Boggly Woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile Exticles. They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. Save all game progress, abso fucking lootly. I'm guessing that we're gonna get some Princess Peach time coming up, though. Back at the base of the x knots Now, the dramatic irony is upon us. Except for, of course, Mario knows that these are the same guys that Peach was talking about because of the email she sent. And we're back with the brain train. What? You say that again? You can't let touch Lord Crump! You're correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Here comes Lord Crump. Oh, that's not Lord Crump. Lord Crump looks different than that. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. I like how he's just, like, walking in while he says that. What a shithead. I have a report, sir. The Crystal Star in Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character, what kind of... Speak up, Hexnot. What is the status of the other Crystal Star? I apologize, sir. We are still re uh, searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Boggly Woods, the one we got in Rogueport. That means there are four Crystal Stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. Wait, wh who is saying yes, sir? I don't know. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up. You, I want you to keep up close watch on Mario and what he does. Absolutely, sir. See, like that, see, that guy's got to have, like, the geeky voice of, like, the guy who's running the computers. And then, of course, the leader has to have, like, the crazy maniacal voice. I wonder so many- Dude, Peach, lately I've been giving her, like, the weird 
vaguely British high-pitched voice. Alright, obviously I can't do anything here. Maybe I should go take another shower. That seemed to get things going last time. Oh, okay. Nobody will mind if I take a quick rinse. Dude, is that seriously... The thing about her quick rinses... Oh! Uh, naked again is that they're actually not quick at all. But I feel like maybe that's what you have to do. And then once I come out again, it'll be just like last time. Where... Like, the doors all start opening for me. But... I'm just hoping that I get to do some secret missions and maybe help Mario with his journey to defeat the Exticles. Put your dress on! You get this chop chop bitch! You got way too much stuff to do. And to see how refreshing I feel like a new princess. Dude, honestly... Okay, so... Did, I don't even know if I needed to take a shower or not. Hmm, doesn't seem to open. Yeah, I... Oh, I should have just gone straight for the cleaning bucket! Oh. Oh, it's... Is this text doing again? T-E-C? I should have just gone straight for the cleaning bucket. You know what? I'm gonna cut out. I went for the shower because I thought it was like the other Paper Mario where you do the same thing and every time it makes something happen. Can I go this way now? I wonder what happens if I... It doesn't work. Yep. So, obviously it's tech. What did tech stand for again? The tethering everybody computer. Hello, Princess Peach. I'm glad you came. <laughs> That man I sent Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Dude, I feel like I need, like, a voice. I wish I could do the, uh, voice of Hal. Let's see, is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at the ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my C CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Dude, I feel like the calm, collected voice for computers oftentimes adds to creepiness. See, but then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Oh, dude, oh yeah. Like, the calm, collected voice totally adds to, like, the creepiness and the bizarreness of this computer. But I guess we have to dance right now. Do I get to dance with myself? A computer-generated version of myself? Press the buttons as they display- Oh my gosh! Where are they going to display? I want to know. I don't- Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. This is not something I should struggle with. I'm like so good at video games with rhythm, except for- Except for I apparently am mixing up the X and Y buttons, which is bad. So, I need to not mix up the X and Y buttons, or the B buttons. Fuck, man. I can, like, beat every song on Guitar Hero on Expert, but this apparently is super challenging. Alright, was that good enough? Does that even matter? Does quality matter? Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Analyzing your dance. What? I was like, analyzing your dance. Your dance sucked. You have to redo it. That's what this video game should have done. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. That computer just say it had fun? We have to kill it! It's a witch! Burn it! Computers can't have fun! Alright, and sending some more email to Mario. The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. What a fucking creeper. You're a weird computer. No, you're mistaken. I'm the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. That's- I just gave him the wrong voice. It's never gonna work now. And now I believe that because we're done with a chapter, we're also going to get... a Bowser section. I was talking to my friend the other day, and he was like, every chapter has a Princess Peach, Peach second and a Bowser second. So here we go, yep. But I want to play as Bowser. Shut up, Kami Kamek, Koopa. I want- okay, Princess Peach just spotted in town just up ahead. Good, yes! Uh, then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I get to fight as Bowser. That would be- Oh! This is how the Bowser sections work. Oh. Okay. 
You know what? Why would I kill? He's supposed to be on my side. Whatever. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. Oh, yes. Feel my freaking wrath, everything. I'm gonna get all the coins. Dude, x knots the fucking x are just around here. They're like, I'm gonna battle you. Oh, no, no, get the meat. Oh, I didn't get the meat. Whatever. I've got- Oh, no, no, get the meat. I want the meat. Oh, yes. Dude, I feel like I don't even have to try at this part. I can just fucking run through. Yeah! I'm sure the Bowser portions will get hard, but that- because that was a little easy, but I think they have to let the excitement settle in because of how much joy there's going to be inside of you when you first get to, like, play side-scrolling style, style as Bowser. Is this Pedalberg? Oh yeah, this is Pedalberg. Oh hey, welcome to Pedalberg and whoa! Eek! Everybody hide! It's a giant lizard with spiked back dinosaur style. <clears throat> what a wuss. Yes, yeah, side chickens, I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Oh, it looks like Bowser Lord Bowser over there. I don't even know. There's a photograph of Princess Peach. Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. Is that just a picture of her? Like, she's not hanging out in that window because she's in the X-Knots thing. Now, now, run under that silent tree, but you're coming with me to my castle. It's not gonna happen, Bowser. Clearly, she's just overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is well rather complicated. <laughs> I see how refined, how elegant. I suppose I can live with Silent Princess. It might even have its births, you know. No. Oh, dude, this is a ballsy uh, Koopa. My life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-size Princess Peach poster. Oh, he's a freaking otaku, and he <laughs> Bowser's like. Damn it, that fucking otaku tricked me with his wall scrolls! Oh my goodness, didn't see that? Didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now look at my guys talking to posters. Otakus. Fucking... And I guess that's all for Bowser's adventure this time, I suppose. It looks like he doesn't have much going on. Hopefully every Bowser section like that is legitimately just kind of like silly and goofy and you get to play through crazy weird levels every time. All right, and we're back, finally, after that boss battle of pretty epic proportions. You know, Sean, now to get right to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating, so come on by whatever you want and sit chatting while. Yes, please, come back and visit. We'll watch you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal meth. Oh, this can't be our last visit. Certainly not. But then again, ta-ta. See, I figure now, like... She's... her voice is ruined by years of, like, smoking and drinking whiskey. Like, that's the voice I've decided to go with for, uh, Foo Foo McGeezax, a.k.a. Madam Flurry. But I think that... After all this excitement... I think it is time to part with the world of this... And end this episode, and look, I can pick up this in coupon now. Finally, because I used too many items because I was being stupid. But yeah, so anyways, oh no, there's a thing happening! Oh, I just got more... ...email. Oh, and he has to- oh, it's from- this is an important one, obviously, because it's from Beach. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me, but please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I missed you lately. I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days together soon. Princess, what's a face? Isn't that precious, Mario? Yep, see, I bet any of my partners would have said that if they are on my team. But anyways, in the next episode, I'll be heading back to Rogueport. Hopefully uncovering the mysteries of the Super Mario world. This has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.